Right, I'm going to do a few odd jobs now, starting by door seals. Okay, we've installed new seals on both doors, which fit nicely. And more to the point, when you shut the door now, oh, <laughs> it didn't do it that time. There we go. It shuts a bit better, although didn't do it particularly well there. Um, I've also this was loose, and so I've refitted the um, rivets underneath. I just need to get this one pushed in a bit better, and that will be done. So some months ago, when I was doing the front suspension and I was uh, doing the painting, I couldn't paint inside the cross member um, and I bought this but I never got around to doing it so we're going to do the we're going to try it out now, we're going to do the cross member and we're going to do the castle rails as well so it, I bought a kit, it came with a gun so we'll um, put it all together and we'll have a go at that now Right, so I've started by first of all getting an air gun in there and blowing out as much rust as I could. So hopefully this is all fairly, yeah, well, there's still a bit in there, but all the big pieces, as you can see, has been blown out now. So um, I guess we'll put it on and give it a go. I'm trying to decide if in this bit here, that cross member, I'm better off using this pipe or just using this nozzle. Um, I think it's got to be the pipe actually. I just don't know how much paint's going to come out everywhere else, but we'll see. Okay, well, I don't think I managed to catch any of that, but um, I've been trying to paint this and I am just creating, I can't get it to come out of the spout at all. Um, there's a little hole in the top of the gum and it's all coming out of there. And to be honest, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing wrong, so... You know, it came with no instructions, so one assumes it's as simple as plug and play. Um, so I'm just trying to get my plastic gloves off. So it, one assumes it's as simple as plug and play, but it's not. So I'm getting spouts of paint coming out of this little hole here, but not down the pipe. Um, I've tried a couple of times really giving it a good shake to see if that does. I've tried higher and lower pressure and I don't seem to be able to get anything to work. So I'm going to um, clean up and not make it worse. Okay, so yesterday I had all kinds of trouble trying to get this to come out of the spray gun and basically I couldn't get any down the flexible pipe at all, not really. Um, but a little hole in the top of the metal connector here, I managed to get it spouting up there. Um, so I made a mess and nothing more. Um, I've had this sat in boiling water for an hour. I'm about to fill it up again and do that. And so what I'm trying to do is um, effectively um, you know, warm it up so that it runs a bit more smoothly and a bit more easily so we're going to give it another hour in um, a tub of boiling water and we will then um, try again and see if we have any more success okay so this is my final attempt that has been sat for two hours in initially boiling water it was refilled after an hour 
again with boiling water so we'll now see if I have any more success than I did yesterday and that sounds like it's moving quite freely so straight out here. Hmm. Oh, there is something coming out there as well. So why is it coming out here though? Maybe that hole's not meant to be there or something. Right, let's try blocking it with my finger and see what we get. seems to have worked. Well it's quite much to go like that, I don't think so, but <laughs> yes well we won't video any more of this but we can see I've got it working. <laughs> well <laughs> um I've got the stuff all over me um, and as you can see um, I, I can't be doing that right but actually I got it working so the heating up is absolutely what needs to be done um, that got it working I just need to be more effective in the way I do it um, how do I reverse the image on this um, oh, right, I'm gonna have to stop and start again so there you can see the spray gun now and the mess it's in. If you look along the side here, you can see all of that paint coming up underneath. But I've got the carter rails done. I managed to get a whole bunch. I'm glad I had the cover on the stag because I've got paint all the way up and just get, gets everywhere. And then across the floor there. Um, and same on the other side. So. Um, you can see I, I did make a bit of a mess but well a bit I made a lot of a mess um, but I do now have it wax oiled where I wanted it so uh, hopefully I'll be better at it next time and um, I can live with that so I'm not great at reading instructions and having um, read them a bit more now um, the paint, the wax oil said to use between 16 and 80 psi, but the gun that came with it, and it was meant to be sold as a kit, was just 50 psi. Now I had it said at 70. I think that's why I was having it spray out the top once I got it, um, you know, runny enough. Anyway, so next job that I hadn't quite finished was this back seat. So we're going to just finish that off now.
There we go, so that's now finished. Both are installed. Flips over okay. Um, I haven't put carpet underneath that seat yet. It had another material. I might do that, I might not. I guess the reason for it would be some sort of sound deadening. Um, and actually what I might do is I might look to buy some sound deadening material instead and put that down. Um, and I'll do that across the whole of the front if I do.